The boreal woodland caribou used to roam around Laximon's forests, home to the Anishinaabe Algonquin Nation. But the only way Renal Brazo can admire this herd now is in this video. We ate caribou, you know. We used to dress with it. We took its bones and turned it into art. My mother, my aunts and my grandparents, they all enjoyed it. I would like to one day see it walk around the land again, before I'm gone. In this region of Val d'Or, there are only nine boreal woodland caribou left, all in captivity. As their habitat has been destroyed by humans, it's made them more vulnerable to wolf attacks. More than 76 percent of their habitat has been disturbed. The solution was to fence them in, in order to protect them against predators. It's really an urgent short-term solution to avoid the extinction of the last caribous in Val d'Or. Authorities are closing off logging roads to give the animals a chance. But this ecologist says the government's actions are too little too late. He says they should have put preservation efforts ahead of business. Our forests are public. They belong to all of us. And if the government stood up to the logging industry, they could put rules in place in order to create good forestry practices that would keep biodiversity and fight climate change. Ottawa has accused the province of Quebec of not doing enough to protect the iconic caribou. At COP15, Quebec vowed to invest $650 million to protect biodiversity in its territory, including the boreal woodland caribou.